hi guys welcome back to my channel it's chandani hope you guys are doing well in my video today i'm taking you back to burbies the county of burbies in guyana this is actually my third burbies video for the year i've already done Caribbean and new amsterdam and kanji and i'm here showing you a few places of importance i am going to take you around and then we're going to head down to georgetown and then we made our last stop at Hope Canal and I'm going to show you what was happening at Hope Canal and I'm really excited to share this with you so let's get straight into the video. So here we're passing the town of Rose Hall and if you guys know Prakta and Pakalu, the Damien Cool Boys, uh, they have a YouTube channel actually and they're from Rose Hall. They're the ones who does those funny skits and so on so that's where they're from. So I guess you guys can figure that it's a busy town. It was a Saturday and it also was market day. So that's why everybody was on the road doing so many things. And it was a rainy day as well too. But that didn't stop people from coming out and doing what they have to do. Here we're entering Port Morant. And Port Morant Market is not too far from here. So you're going to see if they're open. Not sure. And then I'll, I'll see if I'm going to stop or not. So let's get let's continue going down. So we passed in a place called Spreadies and right after is the Port Morant Market but it seemed to be closed just a few stalls outside selling some stuff but um, we didn't stop but maybe the next time I go up I will try to video the market and show you guys what it looks like inside. So we needed to lose this truck because we were behind it for a little while. But I'm just amazed at some of the houses up Barbies. They are so beautiful. They are so big, so wide, so elaborate. Really, really nice. So there I'm passing Carby Rice. And this is home of Carby Rice in Lot 36 Village, Quarantine, Barbies, Guyana. And they produce brown rice, white rice, parboiled rice. And they've actually had their products taken to the local regional and international markets so here we entering crabwood creek and then we're going to continue down So here we're entering Albion and the Albion Sugar Estate is not too far from there. We got to take that road on the left to get in, but we're going to dive into that another time. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up and of course subscribe if you haven't, share and comment below. I still have so much to show you in this video. We still have Molson Creek to go through. I have 63 beach to show you then we're going to make a stop at the Indian Monument and then the last stop would be at Hope Canal and I'm going to show you what's at Hope Canal. So here we are entering Molson Creek now and we're going to drive all the way down to get to the Guyana Suriname Ferry but before we turn off there we're going to go straight there is a road that they're already opening up it's still working they're still working on it but a piece has already opened and it's a road link from Oriella, Siparuta to Kakwani. That's what they're working on right now. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like so far. So Molson Creek is a community on the Quarantine River in the East Burbies Quarantine region of Guyana. And it is home to the Guyana Suriname Ferry Stellan. And like I said, you're going to see that as well. So we are at the point where you turn left, you can get to the Guyana Suriname Ferry and straight up ahead there is where they have opened the road. So we're going to take that road and go all the way to the end so you can get to see it. So Molson Creek is the last village on that corridor and bordered by the Quarantine River and Crabwood Creek Village. 
So Molson Creek is a very large agricultural village with large landmass. And the people of Molson Creek are mostly farmers of cash crops, rice, ground provision, cattle, poultry, citrus, so on. And the road is about one and a half miles away from the main access road. So we've reached the end of the road and we're going to come out. There was a farmer right there and we had a little chat with him. And he's going to tell us a little about the road. This is, this is the road to Ariella. Yeah, the potential road, they could get to Oriel from there. Oh, so it's not. No, no. Right now, you got no road to Oriel. Yeah. This is it. This okay, is this is the. Uh, okay. So this, this is like how the. Plant this road, is this road. Um. And uh, you follow the Quarantine River. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the Quarantine River take you to Oriel. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a little piece that they now break off from the telling because yeah. this wasn't no, sorry not from the yeah the, well me, me I understand that I'm proposed to build a ferry um, a bridge here oh this the is to the bridge yes there. yes like about a hundred rad from here uh, okay so um, that's why yes yeah, so I think that is why they can come in with this piece okay okay nice 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 it is. I suspect so I suspect it's a farmer yeah. Yeah. How you find farm? How you find farm? Yeah. Well, I had it uh, very hard before, but this road make a big change for me, you know. Okay. Okay. What type of you do? cash crop? Cash crop. Yeah. Well, now me, I'm going a little rice. Rice, you doing rice? Yeah. Uh, how, how you find the place for rice? Yeah, okay. The place okay for rice, but okay. um. You must get any your machinery and them things. Yeah. Is it, is it yeah things are coming more easy yeah, now. Yeah. Well, I see they're doing the road. Yeah. More, uh, So now we're heading to the Guyana Suriname Ferry and lucky for us they were open the last time I was here in um, 2018 I think a few years back they weren't so we couldn't get to video inside the compound but lucky for us we got in video in the compound we can't go beyond that even at the ferry area we can't go because they have restrictions so we just videoed around the compound here and you'll get to see that and then we were out. So they had passengers there waiting to board the ferry. So this is the Guyana Suriname ferry service and this is where they come to take the ferry to get Good over morning. to Suriname and Suriname is not far from Guyana it's right across the river so the ferry tickets is somewhere around 15 to 20 US dollars per person So this is the waiting area, passengers accommodation area. You can have a seat there until the ferry arrives or whatever it is. So the name of the ferry is the MV Kanawaima, if I'm calling the name correctly. 
MV Kanawaima. Come, welcome. So there is a sign, Guyana Surinam Ferry Service and our Golden Arrowheads looking all pretty. So there you're looking at the whole layout of the Guyana Surinam Ferry Service and you can see the little offices, the buildings and then you can see the terminal and then straight out there is the ferry itself. And I'm going to show you around the, the, the block how the entire area looks. So right over there is Suriname, that whole land you're looking at, the green land you're looking at is Suriname and that river is the Quarantine River and that river separates Guyana from Suriname. And the Quarantine River is the longest river in the country of Guyana. So not to be confused, Guyana has four major rivers and those rivers are the Quarantine River, Burbies River, Demara River and Essequibo River and like we've been taught that the Essequibo River is the largest and widest river in Guyana. Yes, indeed. But these rivers flow northward and empty into the Atlantic Ocean. And the longest and widest is the Essequibo. But that, that river, which has its source in Brazil, as does the Quarantine River, whose course forms Guyana's border with Suriname. So I'm back on the road again and we are headed to 63 Beach. So we're here at village number 63 and that's where 63 Beach is and you cannot miss it. There's a big sign that says number 63 Beach. So you just turn into that road and we're going to get straight there. We just got to drive a little more and you're going to see the big beautiful beach. It's a really long stretch of beach. You're going to love it. And I love coming here. Every time I come here it's beautiful. Whether you know, if the water is the, the high tide, if it's high tide or low tide, it's always nice because it's always breezy there.
So here we are finally on 63 Beach and the water is out and you guys can get to see the infinite stretch of sand. It's so beautiful. The sky, the sand, the trees, so beautiful. And it lies north of Caribbean, and it's bordered by the Atlantic Ocean on one side and the coconut trees on the other side. So you're probably wondering what you can do on this beach. You can do so many things. You can swim, you can even picnic, you bring your family out, you picnic. There's jet skiing as well that goes on here. There is uh, some sort of surfing. I saw a guy trying to surf when I was there, uh, pulling his um, surfboard with the vehicle. It was kind of cool because the vehicle on the sand and he in the water but it was I, I don't think he actually made it but he was trying and then there's this annual duck curry competition that happens there annually and that way hundreds of locals from towns and other places they come out and they come together and they witness this annual duck curry and then they hang out with their friends and family and stuff it's a really nice beach and one thing though uh the garbage sometimes there's garbage around there especially when the water brings it in and leaves it there that should be dealt with i think but overall it's a beautiful beach So as you get closer to the water, the sand becomes sappy. So I didn't really vouch to go closer to the water. I was just messed up my slippers. So um, I didn't go further. They had people out there already. And this one guy here was trying to build a sand castle. Then further up, some people were playing cricket. Then another part was um, some people in a truck and they were just hanging out and some other people uh, uh, the other direction they were playing cricket as well too. So they were having fun and they had people in the water taking a dip.
So we just left 63 Beach and now we're headed to Palmyra Village and that is where actually it's a T junction where we can get to the Burbies Bridge but I need to stop right there at the T junction and I'm going to show you the Indian Monument. So here I am at Palmyra Village Quarantine Region 6 and this is at the T junction and you can get to the Burbies Bridge from here. But this is where the Indian Arrival Monument is and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And we're going to get closer to where those figures are and I'm going to actually uh, just give you a little rundown on what's the purpose of them there. So as you can see there is a fountain but it wasn't working at the time. And then they have a few benches and there are some lights around there too. I think people can actually come here and relax, sit down and relax and enjoy a nice afternoon. So we're getting closer, closer to the monument. So this monument was built through funding from the government of India. And it's a tribute to the Indian indentured servants who arrived on these shores, then British Guiana in 1838. So as I get closer and closer to the monument, you can see each figure have something they're carrying in their hand or carrying with them strapped on or something. So those things were ship bundles as they call them and they were loaded with foods and spices, herbs, clothing, jewelry, uh, murtis, religious texts, drums, um, cooking pans which we, we call karahi. There was a uh, tawa, which is the flat pan that you make roti on, tawa, and knives, cutlass, rice plants, and so. So here we're passing another rice mill. I'm not sure of its name, but it looks quite similar to the one on the west coast of Demerara at Harlem. I'm not sure. There wasn't a name in front or anything, so I wasn't sure. So now we're heading to Hope Canal, and I'm going to show you what's happening there. That's going to be our last stop, and this is that's going to conclude my video. So let's head straight there. So here I am at the East Demerara Water Conservancy, better known as Hope Canal. And this is one of Guyana's largest drainage projects. And this construction was from the year 2011 to November 2013. 
So the Adore Sluice was designed in response to the 2005 flooding, when a breach in the embankment resulted in floods to almost the entire east coast of Demerara, causing significant damage to agricultural and residential areas. It serves as a medium to release excess water from the East Demerara Water Conservancy directly to the Atlantic Ocean. So it's a whole different experience standing on the Adore Sluice versus passing and just looking at it. It's really massive and I can see why, you know, it helps to prevent. It's really strong. I can, I can see it. And that water coming in from the Atlantic Ocean is crazy. It is so powerful coming through there. Uh, and this is the water is now coming in. The high tide is now coming in and it's still rough versus when there is high tide. The water can't come in really. So they had a few fishermen out there and he was looking after his net and some other stuff and they had some other fishermen on the other side of the sluice as well and their fishing boats are there in the water
so guys hope you are entertained by this video don't forget to subscribe like and share comment of course and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted every time i release a video it was a pleasure taking you to 63 beach to molson creek showing you the indian monument by palmyra you know don't forget to make stops when you're heading up to burbies as well to the, those places i showed you and um of course check out my other two burbies videos Caribbean, new amsterdam kanji videos just go check those out and i'll also uh put them up so you guys can just easily click into it and, and check it out it was fun thank you so much for watching take care stay safe and i will see you in the next one